I'm Julie Bayfam Balzer, and I love to use my Scan and Cut as an art tool, a fine art tool. So today, in honor of World Art Day, I'm going to show you just one way, which is using Frisket film with your Scan and Cut to create fine art and watercolor artists, airbrushists, all those kind of people, painters of all kinds, might enjoy this technique. This is a quick pencil sketch that I did on watercolor paper, and this is a piece of frisket film. So there are two sides to frisket film, a kind of dull side and a shiny side. So what you can do is you can pull back the corner to see which is the side that is actually sticky. And so the paper side, the dull side is the backing, and the shiny side is the actual sticky part of the frisket. So I am going to place my frisket film just over the top of my drawing. You can see that I can see through it. And with a pen that is able to write on a um, slick surface like this and dry immediately, what I wanna do is I wanna block and just trace basically any areas on this drawing that are meant to be stark white. So, they may be small areas or they may be giant areas like this picture. And then between tracings, you want to maybe move the frisket film. So if I want to get like an inside area here. So now that I've traced all the areas that I want to keep a stark white, I can take this over to the scan and cut and we can cut it out. This has inside shapes and outside shapes. So direct cut will only cut outside of something and I want this inside of the jug handle to come out and I want the inside of this flower to come out. So I'm actually gonna use scan to cut data. Scan, instead of direct cut, we're gonna use scan to cut data. And start. several scan options here. The first one is outline, the second one is inline and outline, and the last one is to cut the pieces apart. So I want to inline and outline. Now you can see it's picking up all the messy stuff on the mat. So I'm going to bring this in as close as I can. And you can see there's still some stray marks and that's because the frisket is transparent. So you can play around with getting rid of some of those lines and preview. Much better. And I can say, okay, there's what I want. Okay again. And now I'm going to save it. So you can save it into your machine to edit it there. You can save it to Canvas Workspace if it's easier for you to see and edit in Canvas Workspace, whatever you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and save it into the machine. Say okay. And now I'm going to hit the home button. And it's okay to delete all the patterns because it's saved. I am not unloading my mat. Instead, I'm just directly retrieving the data going back to where I saved it. It should be the right here. There it is. Now here's the thing. I'm going to zoom in, which is under edit, zoom, zoom. What you'll notice, can you see, oops, this is the nudge tool, which I accidentally used and I didn't mean to. These are the arrows to navigate. Here, this is a great example. Can you see how there's actually two lines around that flower area? And I only want one. So because we did the inline and the outline, everything is going to be two lines instead of one. So what I'm going to do is this is selected. That's fine. I'm going to trash that outline. Then I see the little center is, and I know there's two lines there. So I'm going to trash one of those outlines. So I'll still have an outline in here. Then I'm going to use the arrow tool to navigate over. And I'm basically going to get rid of one of every single part. So I just keep arrowing through and making sure like, I don't want to delete that flower at all, but I want to make sure that I get like the outside of the picture. And you can see there's still one line left in each of these places. So I just keep arrowing through. I've only got one little dot left now, which is this one up here. 
and trash. Now the reason I'm arrowing instead of tapping is I don't want to accidentally move anything because I want to now cut it out directly out of this material. So I'm going to say okay, there should just be one outline here of everything. And now I am ready to cut. However, because it's frisket film, it's kind of like vinyl. I don't want to cut all the way through. So under the settings, I've already turned this on. I want my half cut on. Now I've been playing around with the cut pressure and I did a test cut and I found that it worked the best at eight, but we, that was on a different piece of frisket film. So we'll do a test cut. I always start at the auto level and then see. So right here where it says test, I want to say, yes, I want to test. You can see it drops a little triangle here. I'm going to press start and we're going to see how that test cut comes out. my hook tool and what I want to see is yeah does this little tiny cut come out smoothly can you see that does it have any jagged edges and also did I manage to cut I don't want to cut through the paper it doesn't look like the paper is cut through at all which is just what I want so since my test cut came out okay I'm ready to hit start Now that it's done cutting, I'm ready to take this piece of frisket and you can see that it didn't cut all the way through. Oops, or it shouldn't have. It did look like it did maybe in one place, but it should just be kiss cut where we just have stickers. So let's take this over the workspace. So now I am ready. You can see how it really cut perfectly on that line. So I can now line this up with my drawing. It's harder to line it up with your drawing than it is for the scan and cut to cut it. That is the truth. There we go. Oops, I've got a wrinkle in it. So frisket film is basically going to make sure that these areas that I want to stay white are going to stay white even if I'm a little bit of a sloppy painter, which is good for me because I am a sloppy painter. And this hook tool helps me to very carefully lift things up. And I love that it cut out the center right here. Let's see if I can stick the hook through it um, of this flower because that would be really, really hard for me to do by hand, you know, with a craft knife or something. So these are the areas of my painting that I want to stay white. So then I like to just make sure the frisket is rubbed down with my finger, but then now it is time for me to paint this. And when we pull off the frisket, it will be like magic. So now I am going to remove the frisket and I can see that I have a little bit of roll under where I didn't adhere the frisket well enough, but I don't think it's going to be that big a problem. I'll show you how I address that. So you can see I have a little bit of bleeding and stuff where it rolled under the frisket. So you can either leave it alone and just say it's fine. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a damp, I'm wiping this off on, let me make sure it's clean. You can take a clean damp brush and you can kind of feather at the wicking and make it look a little more purposeful because after all you don't want a hard line of any kind, right? So then it just sort of softens all around because this probably isn't stark white. I probably might add in a little bit of 
highlighting and stuff. And I just continue to work my way around here. Watercolor is truly a very forgiving medium. Soften this line, I think. This line is a little harsh. But here is my little painting and you can see, you can still see the pencil lines in some of the areas here. But basically, this is a super fun and easy use for your scan and cut for helping you to create fine art. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at bulgedesigns.typepad.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com. Thank you.